What are some creative uses of Facebook conversion tracking that don't involve e-commerce? We'll explore that question in this week's video blog. Let's do it. All right, this week's question comes from Scott Kramer. After some very kind words, Scott asks, how can you use conversion tracking successfully to a site that is not e-commerce related? For example, conversion tracking for email signup, form, apps, etc. Thanks. All right, great question, Scott. First, a little bit of background is necessary. What is conversion tracking? Conversion tracking allows you to track whether or not your Facebook ad led to a conversion on your website. This would include things like purchases or joining your email list. Why is this valuable? Two things. First, this allows you to measure the true ROI of your Facebook ad campaign based on the cost per conversion. Second, this allows Facebook to optimize your ad, making sure the people who see it are most likely to perform that action. Now, this is based on their prior history and the way that users have responded to this type of advertisement in the past. So how is this done? A snippet of code is placed on a success page of your website. This alerts Facebook to let them know that a person who clicked on your ad also saw a page that resulted in a conversion. For more on this and how to set this up, make sure you see my blog post. It's in the show notes. Now, when most people think of Facebook conversion tracking, they think of checkouts and ads to cart. That's where the money is. That's what people think of when they think of conversions. But the truth is you can actually optimize for other types of conversions that don't result in a payment. Examples of this are registrations, leads, key page views, and other website conversions. So what are the keys to this? First of all, obviously, you need to create a Facebook ad that drives users to a landing page on your website with a goal of some sort of conversion. For the purpose of this argument, we'll say that that goal is to build your email list. So you're using a third party like AWeber, embedding their form, so a user needs to complete that to sign up for your email list. My recommendation is to target fans only who are not already on your email list. That can be accomplished with custom audiences. Create a post or an unpublished post sharing this link that drives people to that landing page. An important step here is that when you use a tool like AWeber, embed their form, when someone completes that form, they need to next be redirected to a page that you control saying thank you for subscribing to my email list. This is the page that needs that snippet of code to let Facebook know that a conversion has occurred. When you're all done, you need to determine what the value is of someone joining your email list because Facebook will then tell you what the cost is per conversion. This is how you determine whether you're getting back proper ROI. All right, Scott, thank you for your question. Hope you found my answer helpful. For everybody else, keep on asking, I'll get to you. Until next time, do awesome things. I'm out. Now a big key. Now a big. Now an important. So why is this valuable? Two things. The first is this allows you. I don't know, examples of this include. Ah, examples of. Bah, bah. First of all. Obviously, you need to create an ad that's driving users to your Facebook page with the goal of a conversion. No. All right, great timing for this question. I love the feature of conversion tracking, and you can only use it, of course, with Power Editor. If you've been following along, you know that this week I just launched a new program, a training course specifically around Power Editor. No more messing around. This is your chance to figure it out and stop wasting money on ads. Speaking of not wasting money, this is the prepay period prior to the launch of this training course. As such, if you get in now, before I launch the course, you get it for half off. So for now, it's $73.50. Wow, that's a great deal. Look, I'm not a big salesman, I'm not a pushy guy, but this is kind of crazy. As comparison, I offer up a one-on-one -on -one coaching session that lasts 45 minutes and costs $147 per session. Now, I can't teach you all of Power Editor in 45 minutes, but I can within this training course. So the value is incredible. It includes dozens of videos and articles, 
It's all self-serve, do it at your pace. They even include lessons within them to keep you accountable. And if you have a hard time staying organized, you can subscribe to daily or weekly alerts to remind you to complete a particular part of the course. So come on aboard, sign up today. The link is in the show notes. We are done. I'm out.